Hey, keep piling up these wins, man, even if they're ugly. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to talk about tonight's Thursday night matchup. You had the Philadelphia Eagles beating the Houston Texans 29-17 uh, to improve to our first 8-0 start in team history. Excuse me. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holla at your bar. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, excuse me, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Um, wasn't pretty. We didn't cover the spread, <laughs> the 13 and a half point spread, but, um, Eagles ain't no man. Um, look, you know, uh, it's a lot, it's some things to be proud of. It's some things that, that are a little concerning going forward. Um, but ultimately, you know, to, to win a game on the road on a short week, um, against a team that obviously was really fired up to play us. Um, and, and playing against a team that we might have not been so fired up to play against, to fall behind, um, you know, early on, uh, it's, it's, it's a good win, man. It's a character building win and, uh, you take it and you build from it, man. Um, uh, first starting off, you know, with the offense, man, Jalen Hurst was pretty good tonight. Um, you know, was, was through some pretty, um, accurate passes, um, hit A.J. Brown on the touchdown, hit Goddard on the touchdown. Uh, was just pretty solid tonight, man. He really was in his return back to Houston. Was he perfect? No, but I felt like he played a really, really good football game. Um, the offensive line wasn't great tonight. Um, I felt like we uh, the run blocking was really good, but the pass protection wasn't great. Um, particularly Jordan Mulata, man. Jordan Mulata struggled. This is his worst game he's played in a while. Um, Jerry Hughes got him on, like, I think back-to-back -back sacks. Um, Hurts gets, gets sacked early in the game for our thir on our third turnover of the year. Uh, the O-line wasn't great, man. Lane Johnson honestly got away with a couple of false starts. Um, O-line didn't play great, man, but, you know, it's something to build off of. And uh, I still trust this unit very much going forward, especially when healthy. Uh, I thought Miles Sanders looked pretty good tonight. Um, ran the ball hard, got a touchdown. Um, Kenny Gainwell still looking. I like Gainwell a lot, man. Gainwell gets in the end zone tonight on a physical run. Matter of fact, um, Scott didn't get out that much. Um, had a, like a couple of carries, but thought the running backs played well. Uh, the receivers were pretty quiet. AJ Brown did get the touchdown reception. Devontae Smith was very quiet. I think he might have had just one catch. Um, but, uh, you know, tonight was Dallas Goddard's night, man. Dallas Goddard had, I think, 97 yards receiving and a touchdown. Um, a really, really big time performance by him. Dominating performance by him. Um, Jack Stahl caught a couple of passes. Uh, the tight ends were outstanding tonight and, and probably the best part of the offense all night long. Um, you look at it defensively, um, one of the, the, the big things I was really concerned about, not only with the matchup with Houston, but with the injury to Jordan Davis was our ability to stop the run. And it is a concern, man. Um, Damian Pierce ran all through us, man. Um, you know, Jordan Davis was very well missed tonight. Uh, the D-line didn't do a good job against the run, man, as Pierce had, you know, a, a huge day, a huge night running the football. Um... You know, the front seven struggled, man, against the run. Uh, in the secondary, you know, with the exception of one play, Bradbury gave up to Dorset. Um, I thought the secondary was really good. Shout out to CJ Gardner Johnson. Gets another interception. His fit, his uh, NFL leading fit interception of the season. That guy has been nothing but spectacular. A fourth game in a row with an interception. That guy has been spectacular since he's put an Eagles uniform on, yo. Um, and he's just continuing to make plays, being in the right place at the right time. Um, so I thought the secondary played solid defense. But like I said, the front seven didn't play well against the run. Did not held their own. But nevertheless, we held them to 17 points. You know, they didn't score 28, 30 points on us. We did hold them to 17. So uh, you take that with his work. 
even Jake missed the kick tonight, man. Money, money, Elliot even missed the kick tonight. Um, you know, but overall, it was a tough spot of, of really, really um, possibility of a trap game. Shark, like I've mentioned, Shark weak, bad opponent that's really fired up to play your uh, opponent that's been playing hard for their coach. Um, and you come out of there with a double digit win, you know, and relatively healthy for the most part. So you can't complain about that. Uh, when you look at Houston, man, um, Damian Pierce is, is, is big time. I think he's going to be a really, really nice running back in this league. Davis Mills is interested to see if Houston decides to, you know, get a quarterback of the future or try to build around him. Um, I think they'll get a quarterback of the future, though he has shown some good things. Um, Moore played really well for them. Um, and defensively, Jerry Hughes, you know, was, was the story of the night for them defensively getting a couple of sacks on her. And shout out to the former even um, Steven Nelson, man, who had a spectacular game tonight for Houston. But, um, you know, overall with them, they got a bunch of draft picks coming up and uh, they could build around their team, man. But for us, I take the win. 8-0, first time in team history. Now we got a nice little mini vibe before, um, you know, a Monday night matchup with a, with a Washington team at home that's been playing better football. Unfortunately, it's not wins, but it's a Washington team that's been playing better football. And we're going to see how they do Sunday with their matchup. But 8-0, I'll take it, man. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, my head. Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly Eagles, fly.